Seplos 3.2 volts 100 ampere hour lithium iron phosphate battery cell. Place the cells into plastic holder to connect them in series. Remember to keep the positive terminal of the second cell close to the negative terminal of the first cell. And keeps the same way for the remaining cells. Wrap the battery pack with insulating tape. EMS wire harness. Connect the black wire to the cathode of the first cell. Connect the first and the second cell in series with soft copper connector. And connect the white wire to the anode of the first cell. Connect the wire to the remaining cells in sequence. Put the wire harness into the slot and get the wiring neat and tidy. Apply some thermal conductive silicone grease around the temperature sensing probe on the cell. And hold the probe onto the cell surface with EVA tape. Put the metal holder in the right place. And screw it onto the plastic holders. The first module is ready for installation. Get the second module assembled and set aside. Get the handle installed. Get the positive and negative charging post installed. Get the BMS in the place and fix it with screws. Connect the positive wire to the BMS. Connect the negative wire to the BMS. Connect the two charging posts with copper bus bar. Connect the positive wire with positive charging post. Connect the negative wire with negative charging post the same way. Tighten the screws with a wrench. Fix the side metal holder onto the box. Put the two battery modules into the box. Connect the two battery module in series. Connect the battery pack cathode with BMS negative wire. Get the BMS monitoring wire connected.
Connect the battery pack anode with BMS positive wire. Press the reset button to power on the battery for testing. The running light indicator blinks. The battery pack is turned on. Hold the reset button to power off the battery. Fix the battery module onto the box with screws. Get the top plastic holder assembled. Put on the upper cover and fix with screws. 